Uh, at Odyssey Aquarium here in Scottsdale. And take a look behind me here. You can see there are several stingray just swimming around here. 21 in here, there are four different species. And they're so cute too. I don't know if you can see, but sometimes when they come up to the uh, glass here, they have little smiles on their face. And the interesting thing that is going on with the case out in Charlotte is a phenomenon called parthenogenesis. Yeah, that's a tough one. But uh, to break it down for us is Kyle, who is one of the animal care experts here. This is pretty insane because uh, this going on there is a rare phenomenon. Yeah, absolutely. Parthenogenesis is something that we've known that these animals can do for a while, but we're still learning exactly which species are capable. And science is always evolving in this category. So when it comes to the case out there, I mean, that's uh, once kind of once in a lifetime thing to happen in that contained space, right? For, for, for scientists and people to really see what's going on. Yeah, absolutely. Some of these species, when we understand that they're capable of parthenogenesis, it's only been documented once in the history of this entire species. And as far as I know, this specific species has never been documented before. What kicks that off? Like, how does it happen? So there's a lot of theories, but we don't know for sure. One of the thoughts is that if a female of a certain species is living without a partner for an extended period, that may trigger something to allow them to fertilize themselves and continue on their lineage. When I, I was talking to you about you about this case earlier, um, I was asking if they are like cloning themselves because obviously there's not another DNA match or whatever, but that's not necessarily the case that happens. Not exactly. Now, while they only have DNA from their mother, there is still some sort of what we call genetic recombination occurring during the fertilization process. And this means they won't be exact carbon copies of their mother, but will only have their DNA, and it is almost a form of inbreeding, if you will. Wow, so definitely something that people are keeping an eye on for sure, right? Absolutely, very exciting. Awesome. Well, Kyle, thank you so much. Again, guys, uh, check it out. So if you're not going to be heading to Charlotte anytime soon, these stingrays here are really cool as well. Over 21 in here and uh, four different species. But yeah, a lot of uh, people really curious about the situation with this uh, pregnant stingray with no male mates. Uh, yeah, pretty cool. I'll send it back to you. Ha, <laughs> ha,